hope the lighting is good. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads where I talk about books and things. So today we're going to talk about my TBR for the month of February because I think I should get this up before it's mid-February like I did with my January um, TBR. The thing is though, I realized that I'm still kind of in a mood reading phase of my life where I'm like, I'm going to give myself guidelines like these are the books that I want to read, it's not necessarily the books that I'm going to read. I'm still going through a bunch of stuff so also I just don't, sometimes I don't have the energy or the willpower to lit, to, that was a very bad thing to, to read, not to live, I have the will, willpower to live, don't worry, don't worry about me. But um, I'm gonna show you the books that I have on my TBR that I really want to read. First, let's get to the physical TBR, which is a bunch of books. The first one, um, I don't normally count the books that I'm reading for my um, comic book club, but um, I'm reading them, so I might as well show you. And it's um, Yo Asesino by Antonio Altarriba and Keiko. I have no idea what this is about, but I'm gonna be honest, the drawings, just do not call to me. I'm gonna read it because it's for the book club, but it's really not my thing. It's about, I guess, a murder, and you know, apparently it's gonna be full of shocking stuff. Another thing that I noticed, by the way, um, with my January reading is that I was putting a lot of like sad books in my 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 list, and I really need uplifting books right now. I really need uplifting books. So. I decided to just grab a bunch of books that I think are going to be uplifting. I have one, two, three, four, and then there's a fifth one, but that one's like going to be not a secret TBR, but it's going to be a project. So um, these are the books that I'm thinking about reading. I'm just going to pick them up in the order that I have them. I have Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. Now we all know and love the movie Practical Magic, starring Sandra Bullock with the most gorgeous hair ever and also Nicole Kidman with also the most gorgeous hair ever and these are about this book is about two sisters that are witches and one of them decides to live a life without magic and the other one decides to live a very wild very like you know very different life one of them settles down the other one doesn't and it's about the sisters coming back together because tragedy has struck and I've told I've been told that this is like reading a fairy tale and it's cozy and it's wonderful And I really need that at this time. I'm sorry. I started with two non sci-fi, but that's that's how it goes sometimes All right, so next up Ted Chiang as exhalation um, Was gifted this book by the beautiful um, Lena from sufficiently advanced Lena uh, These are um, short stories by Ted Chiang and as you know, I'm slowly making my way through my short story collection and this is on there along with his other ones which is Tales of uh, Your 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 Story, the other one, Tales of Your Life and Others. Um, but that one is for another project, which you know, we'll see. Then we have The Book of M. Uh, I put this in my last TBR but I just didn't get to it so I thought I'd just roll it over. It's, I think, the only one that I'm going to roll over because the other ones are just sad and I don't want to read sad books. And I think this one is kind of sad, but I really want to get to it, so it's here in case I want to get to it. Um, this is the story about Ori and Max. They are surviving in an apocalypse and... Not an apocalypse, in a... Well, yeah, in an apocalypse where basically um, there's a virus that takes away your shadow and along with your shadow it takes away all of your memories so and I guess you become violent at some point yeah so Max gets sick and she leaves Ori because she's like I'm not gonna get you sick we, we have to part ways and Ori decides that a life without Max is not worth living anyway so he's just gonna go find her I mean it sounds really good just this sounds good this is rolling over then we have another graphic novel because I can get through these really fast and that really helps me feel good and that is This Was Our Pact by Ryan Andrews. This is about a group of kids who every year they hear about something that happens in the woods and they all go in, in state um, um, the, uh, and they all go to investigate except they all back out except one and this guy who's not his friend who's like the nerdy kid in school and it seems like a beautiful coming-of-age story it seems like a lot of fun 
and it seems like I can just read this maybe in one or two sittings and feel good about myself. And the last physical book I have is <laughs> another tome, which is Leviathan Wakes by James S. A. Corey. Um, I have no idea what this is about. I think um, this is about how humans have colonized the, the the solar system. Yeah, Mars, the Moon, the asteroid belt, and beyond. But the stars are still out of our reach. And then something happens. Aliens, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But I really want to start this. I think I'm gonna like it. Um, so. Let me know if you've, if you've read it, because I know a lot of people have read it and have really liked it, so I want to really like it too. Okay, next up we have a bunch of books that I don't physically own, but that I want to leave myself open to reading. And I also have some books that are in a secret TBR, but these are the ones that I want to show you. Um, I'm not going to read all of these. <laughs> there is no way on God's green earth that I'm going to read all of these books, but they're like there so that you know more or less what to expect from me in the coming month. Uh, but after, uh, other than that, let me scoot, scoot over this way so I can insert the pictures here. I have The Charming Band by C.K. McDonald. Now this is the second story in the Stranger's Time series, which if you saw my uh, series that I plan to continue, this is one of them. I've already started this book. I started it in January, but I stopped because I realized that it wasn't on my TBR, so I should get to books on my, on my TBR. But it's here. Um, this is book two. Now we're dealing with... I can't really spoil the first book, but something happened in the first book. We find something out about one of the characters, and now that character is in danger, and everybody is trying to make sure that this character stays safe. Then we have Bad Astronauts by Grady Hendrix. I have no idea what this is about, but... Um, these are novellas because I'm like breaking up all the heavy reading that I'm doing with novellas and novellas really helped me like oh, feel good that I finished a book. So um, I don't know what it's about and I don't really mind that. Then we have Rolling in the Deep by Mira Grant. Now if you know, <laughs> Rolling in the Deep is, uh, it's not Rolling in the Deep, uh, The Drowning Deep is one of the books that I really enjoyed because it was such campy B-movie horror that I really liked it and um, this is like the prequel to that. So in Rolling in the Deep we have people that are looking for answers about a film crew that went missing that were doing a documentary on the Mariana Trench and uh, here uh, we have that documentary like what happened in that documentary. So I mean you kind of know the ending of it er like er everyone's dead. Then we have the Kaiju Pre 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 Preservation Society by John Scalzi. Now, I just want to read some fun sci-fi, and this sounds like some fun sci-fi. That Literally, that is it. It's about this man who, after the apocalypse, has a hard time finding a job, and then he finds a job taking care of monsters. I mean, I don't think this is going to be anything other than a fun, funny read, and... That's what I want. Then we have Shards of Honor by Lois McMaster Bujold. Um, this book I mentioned in the series that I plan to continue video and I don't know what it's about. <laughs> but I did, um, I follow a Reddit thread that is, um, I follow a Reddit, subreddit about sci-fi and somebody asked about a character driven sci-fi like book or series and this one came up so much and then I looked at the at the small like the small par first paragraph of the book and it's about two worlds at war and uh, somebody finds themselves in the wrong place at the wrong time at the wrong war wearing the wrong uniform and I kind of think it's kind of enemies to lovers, but I don't know. I just know that it sounds like fun and I need fun reads. And finally, I'm going to be uh, buddy reading Ancillary, an, an, sorry, Ancillary, an, Ancillary, Ancillary Justice. Oh, I don't have the author. I'm sorry. It's right here. Um, I'm going to be buddy reading this with Sarah over at Voyages Through Tomes. So yeah, I have, I think this is, no, I, I don't think, I know this is a story about a ship that gets like turned human and how she has to deal with that because, 
you know, as a ship, you can do so many things that as a human, you cannot. So, yeah. That's what I have on my list for this month. Again, this is not saying that I'm going to read all these books because you will see in my wrap-up, I'm not reading that many books. But I am going to... I, I, I decided to leave, like, space for myself to... Um, be able to mood read so i put books that i was like looking through my through my uh kindle through my script through my audible account i was looking for books that i could feel like okay if i feel like reading something like this i can read it you know so yeah that's that's pretty much it those are the books that i'm gonna read um have you read any of these books which ones do you recommend which ones do you think i should steer away from and if you have any sci-fi recommendations for me that you would love for me to read and review please leave them down below i always appreciate it i always appreciate each and every single one of your comments and well without further ado i bid you adieu and i will see you in a galaxy far far away bye